Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and tonight I'm bringing you all something a little bit different. I'm playing some Animal Crossing New Horizons. A little late to the party with this one. This is my first Animal Crossing video I've ever made on this channel. And this game's been out for... Has it been two months now? I think this came out, yeah, March 20th, so this is two months old. Um, I'm finally playing Animal Crossing New Horizons on my channel. <laughs> I meant to make a lot more videos of this a lot earlier, but I just kind of didn't get into the game at first. I pre-ordered the game kind of late, realizing I probably shouldn't be going to GameStop over quarantine, but, um, yeah, so, oh god, I'm like, I got a bee sting earlier, so my eyes all fucked up. But, yeah, I pre-ordered this on Amazon, and, yeah, so, I have Animal Crossing. <laughs> I've been a bit inconsistent with my playing, as you can see. I literally just got this house. Not too long ago, a couple hours ago, actually. And, oh, 5 o'clock? Yeah, I time-traveled back a little bit. It's actually 12 o'clock at night right now. I just kind of wanted it to be at, uh, daytime. As opposed to night. So, um, yeah, I've been working on my island a lot recently. And <laughs> I wouldn't call this so much of a tour. My island is a f absolute mess. I will say that right now. It is not clean at all. But I've been making some progress here over the last couple days. I've just been really inconsistent with my playing patterns. And I kind of want to get into this game again. So, here we got a shovel. Let's see if we can get any iron nuggets out of here. I don't think... Oh. Yeah, I think I got all I could out of that today. Uh, get some stuff out of these trees? No? Well, I don't want to break this uh, shovel. You can break shovels. Oh, wait, no, not the shovel. No, you can't break shovels. I'm thinking of the axe. Oh, why am I doing that with a freaking shovel? You're supposed to... Hack at it with an axe. Do I have an axe? I think my axe broke, actually. Wow, it really did. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is Animal Crossing. So, I've never really played too much Animal Crossing, to be honest. This is the first Animal Crossing I've really actually gotten into. Like, I've actually been playing this quite a bit. Just today, this was like... Pretty much all I played was Animal Crossing. Just trying to get some more stuff on my island. I arranged for my house to be built like three weeks ago. <laughs> Didn't play the game again. Turned it on today and I have a house now. But I'm going to go ahead and craft an axe. I don't have a stone. Oh, that's a problem. Well, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. If, if Man, this is not... I don't really know what I'm doing. Someone asked if I was going to do any Animal Crossing videos, and I told them yes, but I didn't know when, so I felt like I should have... I kind of felt pressured to make one really quickly, and uh, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but yeah, so I guess I'll show off what I have done thus far. So I do have the vaulting pole. That was the one annoyance I had for, like, if you hold still on the map for a few seconds here. Right there, you can see my map. That's the layout of my island. I have not touched the layout at all, so that's completely raw what the game gave me for my island. And I'm happy with the layout, but for the longest time, I couldn't go more than like over like a third of it. So I had to get my vaulting pole. I think you just had to catch like a bunch of fish. Which, speaking of, I can actually do that right now. It's really weird doing it from up above. And we got a nice fish here. I don't think he saw us. Let's see. It's a really relaxing game. Animal Crossing is a very relaxing chill game. <laughs> I don't know if I would categorize it as fun necessarily it's just really relaxing but it can be a lot of people get addicted to this game which i personally don't but 
I think I understand people who do. They want their island to be all fancy, and so they'll work extra hard. I am spending ridiculous amounts of time trying to catch one fish. <laughs> this is probably how fishing... It's probably similar to fishing in real life in that it takes really long. Come on, I hate fishing from above. Like, looking down on the fish. I'm not even going to try that. That's ridiculous. So, I don't know. Usually I'm good at working out the angles to catch the fish, but not this time around. Uh, so, I don't know. Catch. Ooh, we got a Venus comb. What? My pockets are full. Good God. <laughs> I don't have an expanded pocket. I don't know exactly how far into the game you have to be to get that, but... Yeah, um, let me see. I have, like, there's, like, this dude on the island that can build, like, a museum if you have, like, enough fossils or whatever. And so I'm going to see if he'll take this. Uh, these used to be red roses. What the hell happened to them? I think they are dying out on me. I better water them. <laughs> or, I don't think that. Okay. So, it's a really, uh, relaxing game. Kind of, the best way I've heard it be described is that it's supposed to be like an expansion to your everyday life. What? My watering can broke? <laughs> what? My watering can just kind of died? Okay. Well, I guess no more flowers, but <laughs> okay. I don't know what that's all about, but yeah, the best way to describe this game is just an expansion to your everyday life. It's, uh, there's no real, I wouldn't say there's no real objective, but it's not a game you can necessarily beat. It's a game that you can play pretty much infinitely. You can just relax, do all kinds of different things. Blathers here is the guy that, uh, builds the museum. Thank you very much, my feathers. What? What? He's, like, super strict and super specific on what he accepts as a fossil or bug or fish. You can literally have fish in your inventory, and he'll tell you you have nothing to give. I don't like Blathers. He's a dick. <laughs> he's really not. He's really a... I don't know. <laughs> he's just so specific and needy. I don't know why. He's one of the... Uh, villagers I have on my island. This is Rod. Hey, Zip, it's been a while. Did you go back to the mainland? Huh? You haven't left the island. I've been swim training you. F swim training for weeks to come visit you. Uh, I don't know. I mean, in real life, I've been cooped up indoors for quite a while. Hey, you mind if I break into your house while you're standing right there? Oh, damn. <laughs> I can't go in. Um, oh, here's, uh, what's his name? T Tommy. I thought that was Timmy. Feel free to chat with me anytime if you... Okay, so these are like the, uh, headmasters of the island. You talk to them, they kind of arrange for things to be built and whatnot. So, like, Tom Nook is, like, the main guy here. He's the guy you talk to about your house, about your loans, all that stuff. Tommy and Timmy, you can sell stuff to them. I think Tommy's more... He usually stays outside, whereas Timmy stays in the uh, construction area where Tom Nook's always at. It's easy to leave a handwritten note, so I'll give it a try sometime. Who needs notes in the days of texting people? Who needs actual effort in their uh, in their communication when you can just use your phone? Ah, oh, what the hell. But uh, and here we'll find Tommy. This was supposed to be an island tour. I'm doing just about anything but that. I'm just this almost feels like a let's play. Like I'm like, ooh, this person's over here. You're supposed to do this, whatever. Um, but you can sell your stuff. You can get bells, which is just the currency in this game. And um, yeah, so I can like sell wood, Venus comb I just found, toolbox, and so. I need those hardwood. Um, I don't know. It's really, it's a really interesting game. The appeal to it, I never really understood until I played it myself. It's actually kind of addicting to play, to be honest. But um, 
yeah, it's just, it's just so relaxing. And when I say addicting, I, I not that I necessarily get addicted to it, but I don't know. You can see why someone else would be addicted to it. I don't know how you get these torches lit up. I have these. I tried to decorate because I had the tent here for the longest time. This is my house, but I don't know how to light those torches up. They're just sitting there unlit. <laughs> so it's like, uh, okay, that's a little weird. It's the inside of my house. I can go no lights on. Wow, you can actually control the camera in here, unlike in the overworld, where you can't do that. But yeah. So this is my house so far. I definitely need to decorate it more. That'll come with time. You have your little hammock here. I think you can eventually get a real bed. I don't know how you heal yourself of that beast thing. That looks so ugly. And uh, of course this is my main character. He's. I tried to make him look like me in real life. Somewhat. <laughs> it... I think it's the best I could have done. But... I don't know. I just wanted to make it kind of resemble me, IRL. So, I don't know. Hopefully I did a decent job of that. We got a birdhouse here, and then you got your mailbox. Which, I already checked everything in there, so there's nothing really new to look at. But, yeah. So, oh, it's kind of like right here it's approaching sunset in-game because I set the clock back a couple hours. Um... I generally play this game at night, but I didn't want the video to be at night time on my island, so I kind of just, I sort of, I need to go in here. I'm going to visit another island. Actually, not yet. So, um, over here is Blather's place. However, we do have, over there, we are building a shop. So that's what I've been, I was grinding earlier today to get gold nuggets and all sorts of wood. Uh, this is going to be the new Nook's Cranny, I guess is what it's going to be called. It's basically a shop where I guess you can buy things and probably build stuff. It's going to be better than what you have talking to Timmy, buying like two items off of him. This you'll actually be able to buy like real stuff, I guess. Did I ever look over the name of my island? Um, Krakato. So, I named my island Krakato. That's a little... <laughs> that probably sounds a little weird. That's actually a ride at uh, Volcano Bay. Or Volcano Beach. In, um... Or, is it Volcano Bay? It's in Florida. It's a, uh... Universal uh, amusement park. Or a water park. And, uh, I've always wanted to go to it, but, uh, Krakato Aqua Coaster is one of the rides over there that I hear a lot about. And so, I kind of wanted to theme my island just in name after something. Kind of like the bit block used Amity, which is a, a, uh, Jurassic World ride. Not a Jurassic, a Jaws ride, not a Jurassic World. What the hell? <laughs> yes, Jurassic World, they have rides there. It's a freaking movie or a game. I, unless maybe there is an amusement park named after that. I don't know. But uh, Jaws ride named Amity. And uh, I named mine after a Volcano Bay ride. And I really want to go there sometime. So, I don't know. Why am I talking to you? I don't want that. I'm going to go to another island. It's uh, One thing you can do is if you go to the Nook Stop. It's like this little ATM type deal. And uh, you can redeem your Nook Miles, and you can get rewards. The most ex not the most expensive reward, but um, one of the more expensive rewards you can get is a Nook Miles ticket. And um, basically what it is, is it allows you to go to an abandoned island. And I believe it's randomly generated, the island itself. And you can only go to it once, but if you get your ticket, you can head to the Krakato Airport. And, no, I would not. But, yeah, you can basically go to the airport and fly to this island for 2,000 bells. Or 2,000 nook miles, which is another form of currency you get while on Krakato. And, it's 
kind of weird how you build up Nook Miles. You can do... It's kind of achievement-based, almost. It's kind of hard to describe, but... Yeah, so... Nook Miles, you can use to all... You can use it to pay off your loans, like on your tent and on your house. And uh, I'm still working on my house loan. I'm not even close to paying that off. But, um... Yeah, you can use your Nook Miles to also just fly to another island. Although I think just flying to, like, a friend's island is actually uh, free. If you want to just fly to a friend's island, a switch friend, then that's free. But here, for 2,000 miles, you can use your Nook Miles ticket. And you go to a, a random abandoned island. And you can only go to it once, but it's actually pretty cool. I used it, I used a couple abandoned islands to farm gold nuggets off of. Not gold nuggets, iron nuggets. And so you can go, save your progress, and, uh, yep, Wilbur, I guess, is our pilot. Got a walker, blah, blah, blah. Alright, come on. <laughs> I, I want to go to this island, come on. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I... I don't know if it's actually randomly generated, the island itself, but the cool thing is you can meet new villagers on these islands. So right here, I'm on the random island now. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is go. Sure, is that some sort of a... Some sort of a, uh... Call thing? What, what am I looking for? I, I don't know, a safe word? Something goes wrong? I have no clue, but... Yes, we are on a new island. Can we get a look at the layout of the island? No, we don't even get a map. Uh, we do have another villager here. Hornsby. I don't know... I don't know if I've ever seen this villager in, like, YouTube videos. Certainly not in game. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Hornsby. Cool, so you're Zip from Krakato? Eh, that's real cool. Let's have some fun while we're here together. Snoozle. Um... So this is a randomly generated island, which is pretty cool. Um, you can only go here once, though, which is the uh, sad part. I don't know if, may you know, maybe these are, like, user-generated levels. Like, maybe these are other people's worlds or islands. I have no idea how these are uh, generated or if there's a certain number of them just stored in the game's files. I like to think that they randomly generate them. I don't know if that's even a thing, but whatever. Um, so what I was doing here earlier, I need to find right over here this stone, this rock. What I would do is basically just use a shovel and just hack away at these rocks. Okay, there's a the iron nugget. Yeah, you can hear that little uh, jingle whenever you get a gold nugget or an iron nugget. And... Wait, oh, your shovel can break? Aw, oh, damn. No. Aw, oh, my shovel's done. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know you could lose your shovel. I only got two iron nuggets out of that. Uh, pick it up. Come on, pick it up. There you go. So, yeah, you can kind of... You can patch holes with a shovel, which I just lost, which really sucks. Let me try and catch this fish. Everything's breaking on me this video. Jeez. I didn't know that your first your watering can can apparently break. And then uh bro. Bite on it, please. There we go. Catch that fish. Um Yeah, here we go. I caught a black bass. The most metal of all fish. And a fish my fishing rod broke! Oh my god. Okay, those are pretty weak fishing rods. I think you can get stronger ones later on, but that's annoying. They just keep breaking. Come on. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Ugh, I don't want to jinx my vaulting pole breaking. I don't even know if that can break. Um, what would you even do if it broke and you're like on the other side of the island and there's nothing you can do to get back? What would you do then? I don't I don't think your vaulting pole can break, but I also don't want to jinx that <laughs> happening, so I don't know. 
Uh, generally, when you come to these islands, there will be one other villager on the island itself. And it is AI, it's not another person. Although you can go to other people's islands, which is a pretty cool thing. So you can kind of chill out with your friends. And it's basically online multiplayer. It's not objective-based. There's no real objective or anything to do other than whatever the hell you want. Um, usually these islands will be infested with weeds and flowers. I kind of like the flowers. wish I could have those. Although, if you pick them up, do they... I believe they just count as weeds. Right? Oh, no, they don't. Okay. White pansies... Honestly, I could plant those, like, at home. But yeah, usually these places are covered in weeds and all that stuff. There's peaches on these trees. And usually, if you have an axe, you can hit a bunch of wood out of these trees as well. Or you can just use tree branches, which can be used to make, like, axes and whatever. But, yeah... The majority of what I do with the trees is just getting wood, especially for the shop, because you needed like 30 of each type of wood. There's like normal wood, soft wood, and hard wood. I'm gonna go home now. Didn't really get to do quite as much as I would have wished, but whatever. And yeah, okay, so you don't want to leave anything behind. If you leave something behind on this island, it's gone for good, because you don't come back to these islands, like, at all, to my knowledge. But, yeah, we'll just go ahead and lift off, go back to Krakatoa. Which I really want to go. That looks like a really fun lie. It's like this really cool water slide. And, um, I really want to go on it next time I go to Florida. We were in, uh, we were in Orlando last time we went to Florida, and that's where Volcano Bay is. But, I just never ended up going. Let's see if we can go in here now. Nope, there's Canberra. Did we talk to Canberra? He's, uh, they are another villager on our island here. Let me see if I can find them. Hey, there you are. Canberra. Wow. There's really no way you'd... There's really no one you'd rather talk to, huh? I want to chat. Why not? Thursday already. Ooh, you know, used to be some awesome TV shows on Thursdays. It's actually Friday morning. The one where they'd get a bunch of experts on eating free pizza together and make them compete. You mean, you mean speed eating? Competitive eating? Yeah, I think that's what that kind of sounds like. Um, but yeah, this is Crocodile. This is my Animal Crossing Island, which I need to do a lot more with. The thing is... I'm not too keen on going back to the Nook shop to, like, sell all the crap that I accumulate. So, sometimes I just resort to, uh, just littering shit on the ground. So, there's, like, cherries, there's clumps of weeds, there's, uh, twigs, all that sort of stuff. Bundles of wood just all over the place. Oh, I have a stone, I can actually make an axe now. And uh, that's the cool thing if you're over here, over at the Nook Shop. And you can actually make uh, useful items. So, axes, tables, um, I guess shovels. I'll have to make one of those now. Uh, we can craft something here. It'll show you what is craftable right when you open up. So, if it's not craftable, that means you can't make it. Or if it's not labeled as it right away can't make it but can make a flimsy axe which is all I can do right now there's probably gonna be better axes I can make in the future but I need to play a little more before that can happen and uh, yeah let me see if I can go to Canberra's house but he's gathering around here oh <laughs> for the first couple days of the game there was like this giant bonfire here and it would be there lit up 24-7. Midday, there would be like a bonfire sitting here. And it would always be lit. You can just sit here on a bench. Me looking all depressed from my bee sting. Which I have no idea how to heal. But, yeah. It's pretty cool going to... Wow. You can only go into the houses if uh, the person's there. 
Canberra's house. Do we have a... Oh, I don't have a little uh, label stone on mine. Although I do have some bushes to help decorate it. Which is pretty cool. Which is something I'm going to try and get more into. Decorating the island itself. But, yeah. I don't really know. There's not much to really show off. So obviously, the new shop. See, a bunch of clumps of weeds over here. But the new shop... Planted that yesterday. It still hasn't uh, been built, and uh, I don't know when it will be. I also don't have a ladder to go up here, so I still haven't reached all of my island. I think there's like three levels to it. So there's like a second level up here, and then there's another level following that. And it's kind of represented on the mini map there. The lighter the color, the higher the elevation. So I kind of want to reach there. I need a ladder, obviously. But I'm going to have to work a little harder in the game for that. And, uh, yeah. So this is kind of the edge of the island. There's going to be... What the hell was that? Oh, get me a break. I hate the pockets. They're so small. They can hold so little. Wait, 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 wait. Coral... Can we even give that to uh, Blathers? Hope we can. Uh, we'll just swap it for that. I don't need clumps of weeds. You can sell those. They give you very little for it. Pretty sure. So, I guess it's more just to get it out of your inventory, out of your way. But, uh, we're just going to go ahead, see if we can trade this in. See if Blathers will actually take something for once. Kind of doubt he will. I guess I don't want to jinx that either, but... Let's see. Will he actually accept it? Just let me know if you have any items to donate. Yep. And... Yeah! Nope. You greedy little shit. I don't know why he just won't take anything. He's just super picky about what he'll take. He's like, oh, we take fish. I'll have like six different types of fish. Oh, it doesn't seem like you have anything worth donating. Oh, well. Like, wow. Okay. <laughs> Greedy much? <laughs> uh, let's see. Can we visit one of the villagers here finally? No. Nope. You can go into their houses. They're usually well decorated. I was the last one here to get a house because I played so little. I was still sitting there with a dinky little tent. And these guys had full-size houses. And once you pay your loan off, I think you can actually... Excuse me. You can move into a bigger house. They'll expand it. Which would be pretty damn cool. This is literally all that's in here. Just a radio table with tulip or whatever. Got a clock up there that I got really early on into the game. And you got the hammock, which, again... Had that since the beginning of the game. And I need to play more of it, so. Uh, wow. This is way longer than I thought it was. Holy crap. I'm going to have to sign off now, but. Hope you enjoyed a quick little look at my Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. Um, you've probably made a lot more progress than I have, because I just don't really play this a whole lot. But I'm going to change that and actually get a decent island going. Hopefully. So, I don't know. I have more stuff to be working on. New Let's Play is going to be starting next week. I have decided on the game. Not going to say it quite yet. But uh, I'm going to let that actually be a surprise. So I'm probably not going to say it at all. But hope you look forward to the new playthrough. And uh, an episode of Zips Collection will be going up tomorrow. And uh, that'll be... Yeah, shouldn't. I'm not going to spoil anything. But uh, I'll let you find out for yourself. Sun setting on my island looks pretty nice, and uh, I do like how they try and uh, let's get a nice, nicer view for the end of the video. But uh, yeah, I do have to end this video off, unfortunately. And uh, I'll probably upload more Animal Crossing in the future. Uh, I was gonna do a video log series like the Bitblock did, but I just never did. Uh, even he stopped doing it because not as many people were into it. And, I don't know. So, maybe you'll see something similar to that on this channel. Ooh, this looks really nice, actually. We'll just 
let that uh, be the closing frame of the video. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of Zips Collection. And I'll see you Monday for a new Let's Play. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you around. Peace.